and you have been in, in more than 50 films in the last 30 years. Do you have a single favorite role? Uh, well, uh, aside from being there, I think the thing, the film I most enjoyed being in was Dr. Strangelove, uh, two particular characters. Uh, aside from that, being there was an ambition, you know, that I wanted to do all my life. What did you like about Strangelove? I liked the character of the doctor, and I liked the character of the uh, group captain, Mandrake, yes. Uh, those two, and uh, lovely memories of Stanley Kubrick and uh -huh. Terry Southern and... Do you ever go back and see your movies? Do you like uh, to watch yourself in the movies? Do you watch them on television, or do you go to the theaters and watch your movies? No. Um, I went last night to see Being There because I hadn't seen it with an audience. And it was uh, very interesting to see the reaction, you know, on various levels. Of course, uh, the, the audiences here are very sophisticated. They pick up very quickly, I notice, on, on little innuendos. Really? Yes, yeah, yes. In different parts of the world, you think audiences are act differently to the same film? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I haven't seen that in yeah. other parts of the world. But other films, they do, yes. What's the difference between a, a, a California audience and a London audience, for instance? Well, a California, uh, a London audience and a New York audience are identical. I really? Mean, if you're taking a West End audience, right, yeah. identical. They're very hip. And I would say, like, in Westwood, about the same. About the same. But you get out of those areas, in England, and you're in a totally <laughs> You've got to be careful what you show them. Who are you talking as now? Somebody told me you have no voice. Time Magazine's cover story insisted that there is no Peter Sellers, that you are only a, a mass of characterizations, and that inside there is no body. That's true, yes. How did, how did you react to that? Well, uh, I, I didn't react. Uh, I just mouthed <laughs> things. Uh, <clears throat> it's not entirely true. It comes from working for, for, uh, for years in Radio Gene. Who am I talking to now? Uh, let me see. Uh, he's not in, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anybody there? No. How does somebody who comes from London talk? Well, they, they, I mean, there are so many London accents. Um, it's difficult to say. Uh, I mean, there's... Uh, I mean, you know, people think of Cockney accent. There are five Cockney accents. All right. And there are um, other accents that are also um, from London. And then you have cultured London Well, let's accents. hear them. Well, you want to hear... This. Sure, I want to hear some accents. I want to hear you speak various Englishes. The, the people over here have difficult enough time understanding Michael Caine, so I don't know... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put subtitles on as you speak. Well, I'll tell you straight out, Gene. What I like about you and your show is you're frank. No, I don't mean like the name. I mean, you, what you say is frank. Now, I like that because it gets to the core, see? And when you get to the core, you get the essence. Precious bodily essence. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's sort of a, that's an old sort of Cockney accent. And what happens when you get into... Oh, do you mean one of theirs? One of the Hooray Harris. Yes, yes. <laughs> the Hooray Harris, yes. Well, they're very good on TV. And they're, and, they're, and they're quite erudite, you know, and there's a... Uh, it's very interesting, Mr. Shallot, that you should come on the show. Uh, how long have you been doing your show in uh, New York, is it? It's been 64 years. 64 years, how absolutely amazing. And you haven't asked me a new question yet. <laughs> no, well, of course, I've only just started myself. I see. It's just that I went to Oxford, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens when you have to sell something? What do you say when you have to sell a product on television. How do you cue well, the control? Well, all, uh, all those TV selling voices are more or less the same, you know. They, they're the same all over the world. Get so-and-so today, you know? Even in Russia, I did one once about cigarettes. Comrades, smoke bruchkits. <laughs> bruchkits are not merely the coolest, the finest, and the best cigarettes in Russia. They are the only cigarettes <laughs> in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, uh,